All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So what are we looking at here? Well, yeah, well, this is the latest offering from the guys over there at Primary Arms. Now, if you follow my channel for any length of period of time, you understand that I'm a huge fan of these guys. One, because they bring to the table a good economical optic with one of the best set of reticles you've ever seen in your life, designed by my good friend Dimitri. This specific model right here, this is the new gold line, which has just now become available for pre-order. This specific specimen is the 2.5 to 10 power by 44 first focal plane scope. There's two other variations. One is the 6 to 24 by 50, and the other one is the 4 to 16 by 50, both first focal plane scopes, available in a bunch of different varieties of the reticles, all the way from the Athena, the uh, R-Grid, the ACSS HUD, all of them. It's amazing. But anyway, I want to talk about this guy right here. I have actually taken this thing out and used it and abused it, and it is one bad mother trucker so uh one of the things i did is i put it on top of this dmr rifle i'm going to show you a video here very shortly and then we're going to take it out to 600 yards shoot it at 10 10 inch steel uh this is the uh the little scope that i used when i shot that four inch target out there at 400 yards so one of the things i wanted to do was take this rifle this muzzle velocity the round that i reloaded the ballistic coefficient load it up and to apply ballistics and test to make sure the turrets worked accordingly, and they did. So I'm not concerned about testing out the turrets. They work perfect. What I am going to do, though, is going to give you a quick rundown on this thing before we go out to the range and show you what I came up with. All right, so she's a 44 ocular size out there, objective, 2.7 to 2.8 inch eye relief, uh, 30 millimeter main tube. She is anodized uh, out of 6061 T6 aluminum, 12 and a half inches in length, 22.2 ounces, premium glass. Guys, this thing is assembled in the Philippines. This is not a Chinese made knockoff. It's not quite the uh, Japanese, but I'm going to tell you something. This guy right here is knocking on the door of what I call those platinum guys. How do we do this? Well, we're going to go from front to rear. Guys, this thing operates just like any other scope. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the details, but what we're going to do is we're going to end up in this thing right here. This is the what I call the operating center right here, the brains of the operation. So basically, you've got a zoom ring. This thing is absolutely smooth. you got a little fin right here that I can actually be moved over to this little notch area and this little notch area over here. That gives you a little bit of customization. So if you spend a little bit more time on the high end than you do on the low end, you can move that fin over here. The ocular right here is adjusted. As you can see, it's backed out a long way because I am half blind. What is the big deal about this scope? Well, it's this guy right here. These are the newly designed turrets, and they are something else. As you can just see, look at them, man. Feel them. You can't feel them, but you sure can hear them. They are hardened steel to hardened steel, unlike a lot of the other past scopes where they were brass to brass. What does that mean for you and as an end user? Well, it means it's going to probably last a lot longer. You're going to get a lot more audible clicks out of that. These newly designed uh, turrets, uh, they actually uh, do one of my favorite things. They have this guy right here. They have directionals on this, down or up. Each click represents one-tenth of a mil. Each rotation shows that you have a one, uh, 10 mils in each rotation, is what I was trying to say. And then you do have the little lines that show you the uh, elevation changes. Turrets are both resettable. They call this thing the Z-Lock. Okay, and then you have what they call the Z stop. That's the Z stop. That little button right there. That is the Z stop uh, lock. They're equipped on both the elevation and the windage right here and here. So what does that mean for you? Well, you're out and about. You're running around. Uh, also, when when you're using this scope, this is equipped with the uh, the Griffin reticle, which has uh, a BDC built into it. So if you're and I'll just say this, if you're engaging uh, targets that are more than, uh, let's just say, one uh, MOA, then you can use the internal BDC in order to do that. How do you do that? You can go ahead and bring that thing back to zero, and you're in business. You can engage everything out to 600 yards. The cool thing about this is, let me, let me just clue you in on something. Uh, so a lot of scopes, uh, you've got to take the take the cap off then you have to uh, unloosen the clutch and then you've got to turn it back and then you got to bring it back in guys this thing right here all you have to do is you take a 1.5 millimeter hex head 
wrench like this. I'm going to loosen these things up. There are three screws. There's one here, one here, one here. And all you got to do is you loosen these things up. Make sure you don't back them all the way out. You probably don't want to lose these things. I don't know the torque specifications on them, but I'm sure that they will come out in the instructions. This is a pre-release. What we're going to do is you just pull that up. Boom. And what you have in here is you have a braking system right there. As you can see, that little screw. And there is a notch right there for your over-travel. So you can over-travel about a half mil on this thing. There is the locking system. And when this thing comes back, it clicks down into that and it locks in. All you do is you put it on zero. You take this bad boy. There's your zero. You line it up with your revolution marks right there drop it down and guess what it's locked into place and then all you have to do is you tighten it up guys it doesn't get any easier than that that's the end that is the genius part about these turrets I absolutely love these things now I also have a an example or a sample of the larger brother of this guy and I plan on taking those out and putting them on a larger bore rifle so we'll go ahead and test the turrets out on that one this guy right here like i said i took it out and i tested it out to 600 yards it worked perfectly with applied ballistics and everything that they had to do so that's the tube uh <laughs> there's the the turrets boom you got a five half mil over travel on that so you can bring her down a little bit but guys how simple and how easy is that? The glass on this guy is impeccable. If you get an opportunity to pick this thing up, go ahead and try to look through the glass, see what your thoughts are on this thing. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, lifetime warranty. Uh, I believe this guy right here is about $749. Now, I know that that's a high-end piece of glass, but what you're getting is a piece of glass that would otherwise normally cost you about fifteen dollars to $2,000. So that's the value. Also, with the upper the bigger versions they're only like fifty dollars more and you're going to have the availability of having the athena reticle which in my opinion is probably one of the best ones out there so anyway let's get on out to the range and uh, see how that went here we go stand by so we're sitting out here at the range and i've got my dmr rifle this is set up with the uh, criterion barrel 1 8 twist 18 inches long we are running an ultra dyne uh, muzzle brake out there on the front and I have been nothing but just absolutely impressed uh, So let's talk about the scope here uh, This is the field exercise. What we're gonna do is I got some 10-inch targets set up from 200 out to 600 uh, We just got done hammering out a uh, four inch target up there at 400 yard Which I'm just absolutely ecstatic with that was a cold bore right after setting it But uh, anyway, we're gonna be uh, shooting from the bench here. So one of the things is applied ballistics, it's really cool. We're shooting a 77 grain boat tail hollow point. This is the Hornady. This is a really, really nice round. Uh, this is loaded up, so I'm achieving a 2660 feet per second out of this rifle. So what do we do? Uh, the cool thing about this particular scope is it's running the Griffin reticle. And the Griffin is a mill dot reticle it's beautiful it's got the christmas tree on there uh, but what's really nice about it is it does have like an acss uh kind of uh brackets or bdc in it so it's really 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 neat so uh let's go ahead uh the range is getting filled and uh let's pull this thing out move on this thing Okay, so from a buy ballistics, we're going to go ahead and start off with a 200 yard target we'll take it all the way out to 600 i got cameras sitting out there and uh Basically what I'm doing is I'm checking, not necessarily the turrets, but how they work out sp specific to my firearm, my round, and so far so good. So at 200 yards, we're gonna go 0.4 mils. Now these zero tops, these zero stops are absolutely incredible. One, because they're made of hardened steel and you never have to worry about them wearing out. So we're at 0.4 at 200 yards. Got a little bit of uh, a disc that fell off the thing down there. But at 200 yards, I can barely see it through the grass. Here we go. One more.
One more. Okay. So now we want to take it up to 300 yards. We're at 1.3. Nice thing is, is you've got increments of one, one and a half, two, two and a half. 300 yards. That's pretty simple. That's pretty easy. Let's take it on up to 400, 2.3. that time <laughs> look at how much muzzle rise we're getting with this ultra dine okay so we're gonna roll out here to 500 looks like the winds slowing down a little bit on us so at 500 we're gonna be at three and a half not bad shooting there I don't think that barrels not even getting hot <laughs> so at 600 we're gonna be at 4.9 A little bit of wind up there. Okay, so it took me two shots. All right, why don't we get it on back to the studio, and tear this thing down, and see what it's all about. That was just a shooting example. But the cool thing is, is if you have a man-sized target, you can also use the reticle, the Griffin reticle, as the BDC setup in it. All right, guys, well, that was the range. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take this thing out after we go ahead and re-zero it for 50 yards. That's how my uh, rounds are set up at 2650, 2660, and it, they measure out perfect for the ACSS reticle. This rifle is absolutely wonderful. We've got a bunch more builds coming, man. I, it, this is going to be an incredible uh, year uh, for the remainder. What are we in June? So the rest of the year is going to be mint testing. We've got some new pistols. We've got trigger comparisons out the wazoo. Uh, if you guys uh, know a trigger company that you want to see uh, represented in this trigger comparison, we're going to do a high end like this guy right here. This is the Trigger Tech Diamond. But we're also going to do more consumer level stuff, $100, $120, $150, and we're going to build around that trigger a economical three-gun rifle, whereas we are also going to be doing a high-end three-gun rifle and a medium root three-gun rifle. It's going to be fun. That's what it's all about. But I don't want to leave uh, the people out there who maybe not can't, you know, justify the purchase of a $750 scope, but they can a $220 scope. So with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. So freedom comes in some zero stop. Look at that thing. Isn't that, isn't that easy? Wasn't that awesome? Look at the numbers. Well pronounced. You can see those. I can see those. Let's go to boy 32. I'm out.